What's good, YouTube? It's Rage Rail. So in today's video, I'll be showing you guys my favorite defense for trips tight end. So if you enjoyed this defense, go and drop a like on the video right now. Go ahead and sub and turn on post notifications on. So uh, let's do go ahead and dive right into this video. So as far as defense goes, this can be applied to any defensive formation you want. It's a universal setup. And honestly, you really, really love it because it allows you to not have to worry about a whole side of the field when facing trips tight end. So let's go ahead and get into this. So um real quick first thing i want to show you guys is that i do not have zone drops on so that way you guys don't you know think that i have it on because you actually need to make sure you keep zone drops off yes you heard me make sure you keep zone drops off <laughs> because if you turns out drone drops on it's not gonna work exactly how you want it to so uh let's actually go ahead and show you so you can do this out of any any formation big nickel three four four three any kind of nickel you can do this out of any kind of dime it's just um i'm actually just going to go to three three five wide because that's what most people do run now i suggest you know put in safeties right here with the four six playbook or whatever that's what i suggest so i'm just gonna put uh ruben foster right here i believe he's faster than him so uh that's gonna be critical you guys will see that in a second now i could pick any play i want to please keep that in mind i could do it out of man shell i could do it out of cover two cover three you know cover four i could do it out of any shell that i want um, and you'll be able to understand that here in a second. So I'm actually just going to choose cover two just because. And then now let's go to trip tight end offset. And let's actually go to, um, I want to talk about PA counter. I mean, not PA counter, <laughs> PA crossers. Because most of you guys think you have to zone drop uh, to be able to stop PA crossers. Which, in fact, you actually do not need to. And I'm going to get into that right now. So as far as the setup goes, anytime um, you want to use it as safety to the three receiver side. Now, uh, I don't know who Curl is. I think he's like... I played with the Redskins before. I think he's like 80 something speed. So obviously you'd want a fast user right here. But as far as the setup, if you want to uh, take your outside linebacker or your outside safety. Um, and I like your audible to uh, nickel to kind of show you, uh, makes a better setup. So you want to take your safety or your linebacker in this case, you want to man them up to the tight end, just like this. So this can either be your slot corner or if you're playing a uh, three, three, five wide, then this will be you know your linebacker slash safety he wanted you wanted him to man up to the tight end now from here you want to take that cornerback and i like starting them off in a hard flat now this is just so if they want to run at levels and i dropped my phone <laughs> but this is for if they want to run at levels concept then we'll have that completely taken care of now from here this is the most important set setup right here well adjustment you want to take him and put him in an inside quarter and now if you have time i like to move him down some but that's completely optional if you don't have time which you may not just leave him like that now as far as everything goes, this is all you need right here. Now, um, everything else after is completely up to you. So if you want to take this guy and put him in a hook curl, you can. If you want to take square and put him in a uh, purple and run concept like this. But what I recommend personally me is taking square and putting him in a deep half. And I personally like to back him off. Now to back off a cornerback, you press triangle, you press in X for individual, you press the receiver that you want him to back off from, which is square, and you'll flip the right stick up and just back off and that back him off. Now, last thing I like to do is list my user. Now, me personally, this is my preferred base setup to kind of see what do they want to do. Now, if you're worried about that RPO type of play, then you can just take square and actually just put him in a hard flat, and then you'll just be responsible for the corner routes or anything. Or what you can do, you can take triangle and you can put him in a curl flat just like this. And now you're just really responsible for all of this right here. And normally, most of the time, you actually will not even have the guard deep. That's what makes this setup really, really great. So let me kind of show you guys why I like this setup. So this right here is a common setup that you'll see from trips tight end. It's just a simple uh, crosser with the deep post because most people, if the crosser's not open, they may try to hit the post. So really common setup. Now, the guy I want you to watch is this person right here, Landon Collins. Now, if they don't motion anybody, you just, you're really free as a user. Like, I can go use this if I want to. I can go if they try to have a delay fade. So instead of putting the tight on the route, they had a delay fade, then I could do that. Uh, there's actually a lot that you can that you can do because of that inside quarter. That's what makes this defense uh, work really, really well. And one thing you have to understand, guys, you, you have to understand this. If they do not motion anybody, we have a three by one setup. Now, um, with the three by one setup, since he's actually manned up to the tight end, his next, the reason he doesn't go deep with him is because uh, they recognize that he's manned up. So now he actually mans up any crosser that comes because that's what actually the inside quarter does in match concept. So that's why it's important that you guys follow my match school series because I actually go over what's the safety responsibility. So we're actually forcing him 
to match that crosser every single time as long as there's no man cover as long as there's no um motion to the other side now if that motion to the other side to feel like a receiver i'll get to that in a second here just uh be patient with me so as you can tell he's gonna match that and they normally do a great job cover that like that's landon collins on um i'm not sure who that is but regardless that's still a hard throw to make right there and that's why i said i like to bring him down some because it actually helps him out a lot now let's take a look at this left side so so we actually have a hard flat so we technically don't have to worry about the drag like we just follow this if we want to it's completely optional to follow that and what you're probably thinking is real can't they throw this right here now the reason i like to be paths is pay attention how he's playing this so he's actually in front of him just like this so if i try to pass lead this ball inside most likely you're gonna be able to click on him and get a pick so their best bet is having to what maybe try to throw this ball right about here and in possession catching it that's fine and you don't have to be aggressive with your user like this is just that most people will not make this throw so if your opponent's the type to make this throw then you just have to respect that and just kind of play it but you're really free if they don't ever make that read because defense is just a take and give you know uh, you're not going to be able to cover every inch of the field but you just have to understand what's open in your defense and you'll have solid defense honestly now uh, let's actually show you, you know, let's actually do one where uh, we have a backside. So let's say like a backside slant, right? So this is a real popular for me, well, popular setup. So let's go ahead and man up the tight end. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's let's switch it up to, let's go to 245 and let's just show you, let's go to uh, cover two on, on this one. So what I was trying to explain to you earlier is that you just want to make sure that you have a man on the tight end. So you see how our linebacker is right here? So in this case, he'll be manned up to the tight end. Then we'll take our cornerback out there. We'll put him in a... Um, a hard play excuse me just like this we'll take our safety put them in the inside quarter and now look we're actually set up now what i like to do like i said i like to take a square put them in the deep half and then backing them off now you don't have to put them you can play cover two on that side if you want to you just have to use your it'll be a lot more responsibility you have this whole area right here that you have to cover because more likely somebody's coming deep you know so for me personally i don't like that but if that's your style then go ahead and do it you know um, but I like to put him in the deep half because now I got a lot of freedom. So maybe this setup, I might take square and just put him just like this. And now look, we have the exact same setup. Now with this midery, you can do whatever you want to. Um, you can put him in the hook curl, spy him, you know, whatever you wanted to do. You, you have that option. So I have to go put him in the hook curl just because. And now what you're going to notice is that I'll actually run the same setup again. Um, so you guys can see that, yes, it's going to play the exact same, even though I'm in a different defense. A lot, a lot of y'all might not understand that that's the concept. Look at Landon Collins. And like I said, there's just almost nothing that I have to do at that point. So now that you actually get that, you can use different defensive shells with this or different, different defensive formations. Um, now I'm actually going to just stay in 3 3 5 wide. Now that you guys can see that, yes, you can do the same thing. So again let's go over the setup and then i'm gonna show you kind of ways that you have things you have to watch out for running the defense so we've got the tight end man up we have our cornerback in a uh, hard flat we got our safety in an inside quarter and now i personally like to deep pass my safety my corner and back them off that's just me personally now you can put them in the outside third if you want to i just prefer a deep half i think it plays a little better and then let's take our tight end uh, our uh, linebacker right there and put him in a purple so this is what we're looking like now anytime your opponent motions over anybody so let's say they do a setup with the backside drag like this to see if you know they can bust your coverage. Anytime you see a motion, what you need to do is double tap triangle, select surf, and put him in a soft spot just like this. And if you have time, press triangle, expert individual, press triangle and back them off. Now, the reason you wanna do that, because if you press with a soft spot, you'll get beat on a fade. Please trust me, Um, I, I don't wanna go over right now and show you because I wanna actually get this video out. Um, You know, I don't wanna spend too much time on the video, but what you guys also gotta understand is that anytime somebody motions, they're most likely gonna let them set over there on that side, unless it's a backside slant. And anytime they let them set on this side, nine times out of 10, they're putting that guy on the street because they think that you're playing like some type of cover two, and they're gonna try to bust your coverage uh, that way. So trust me, anytime you see a motion, put them in a soft squat. Now, also what you need to understand is how match works. So since, uh, since he's actually in the inside quarter and he's not, what's gonna happen is he's actually gonna just play his responsibility right here. So you tell he's an inside quarter, he's not gonna actually match any crosser. So if circle's gonna cross her out, he is not gonna match that. So that means that you have to watch circle. So if circle goes on a crosser out, that is your responsibility. Now for a backside slant, backside drag, look at how many zones I have to play that. I could have a mid read. Well, I could put him, you know, like I said, like that hook curl, he can kind of play the drag a little bit or a slant. And then we have a vertical hook that's going to carry that drag or slant. And then we have either a curl flat or a hard flat, depending on what we want to play out there. 
to help on any backside route. So we are primarily responsible for circles. So let me show you how this will look. So you'll pay attention if the cross is coming, right? And now you're gonna go guard that. And think about it, you're rushing three people. So more than likely, somebody's gonna get shedded, you know? So more than likely, they're not gonna have all day. And you can actually take that linebacker, Holcomb, or, you know, the middle linebacker right here, who's in Cook Girl. You could put him in a spy as well if you wanted to. And so if they, you know, he gets a little time in the pocket, he tries to move, then what? You just send your spy. But regardless of that, what I wanted you guys to understand is that, oh, also, if you put him in a spy too, then he'll he'll be sitting right here, be able to play the drag route, and then he'll pass it on to this vertical hook coming right here. So you can tell vertical hook's gonna shoot down. So that's not open, you know? Like I said, their only read is truly this right here. And like, when I promise you, not a lot of people will throw that, but if they throw that, then you just have to adjust to it. There's other things you can do. There's other defensive shells you can uh, you throw. And like I said, me, I prefer to be honest with you guys. I'm not gonna sit up here and say, oh, everything's covered because technically they can maybe throw this, you know, they can maybe pass lead this right here and actually catch that. You know, it's just, will your opponent take that read? That's pretty much it. Cause that's literally the only thing that they have open. Um, as you can see, we're gonna go guard that because we actually have a two on one because of our defensive setup. So, you know, if they're wanting to abuse this, then you can actually just man him up. Then you can actually use this guy. Um, well, no, actually you can, you can just man him up and then you can make, you actually man him up to square right here. So uh, if they try to run that again, then maybe he'll play it. And I'll show you guys here that in a second. So like, if somebody was just straight up using this, then I'm gonna just kind of show you guys exactly how you can adjust the things um, right here. So let's say they were just abusing this post and they were just dragging this guy across. Then let's say, you know, we did what we were supposed to, put him in a uh, soft squat just like this. Let's say we backed him off, right? Blitzed him, did like this. And now let's say we knew they were running this concept, right? So what I would do is take X and I actually just cross made him right there to square if I knew this concept was coming. And so now what happened is you can tell if I try to throw square, then look, he's just sitting right there and more like, you can see right there, he actually played that. So that's why I said I like the deep pass because it's actually, they actually do a better job than you would think because it looks open, but a lot of times you can actually click on and get the pick. Now I'm not gonna sit up and say it's like that every time though. It's just, uh, they actually can. And then if somebody, if the opponent sees this right here, there's no way they're gonna throw that on the break. I mean, you know, no way you would do that. And even if they did, just look, like I said, he's just actually able to actually play it. That's why I like the deep pad because they stay in front of him. So just like I said, you know, there's different adjustments that you can make. There's different things that you can do, but the essence is the uh, setup right here. So all you need is a tight end man up, putting your corner in a hard flat, and then taking your safety that's over the top and put him in an inside quarter. Now I have one, two, three, four, five zones that I can sit here around and play with you know, to get the perfect show that I wanted. So like, if you wanted to man him up, if you wanted to just play man, just on those two receivers, you have that ability to, you know? And if you wanted to call maybe over the top, then um, check this out. So if they still ran PA cross or concept, then we'll still be straight right here. And I'll show you guys that here right now. So let's say we go and then watch circle, right? So you see how he's still gonna match that crosser. So like I said, we can have man coverage, but have some match in there too. Like I said, the things that you could do is endless. Um, now, last thing I will talk about is why I like a soft squat. So let's say you get somebody that tries to run a setup like uh, like this right here where they're gonna motion over a streak. Let me show you guys that real quick. Now let's go and set up everything just as if it was normal. Let's take circle and uh, put them in a hard, but let's actually press this down too to be more realistic. So you see right here, and let's say I did want to back off square, you know, boom. Now, like I said, backing them off and all that's optional. I just, that's just something I found to be uh, more effective. And then let's say I wanted to put them like that, right? So let's say we're set up, we're good. And then now they motion them over. So what did I tell you guys? Anytime a receiver motions over, take them, put them in a soft squat. Now, um, what I'm going to show you is why I back them off. So you see, if I don't back them off, watch what happens. So uh, I'm actually not even going to control my player. So look at just how... Uh, well, actually, normally, actually, that time he did a really good job. Now, normally when I was doing this, they normally get, like, some type of glitch, and then they normally just glitch right past them. I think it's just like that in game. Um, so please just trust me when I say back that guy off. Uh, don't risk it. Because, like I said, sometimes they, this time they let him play uh, good. But you see how he kind of, like, did this little hesitation little thing where he kind of, like, stuttered a little bit. I don't know if you can see it, but he kind of did a little stutter thing. Now, normally... He's normally going to get beat for a touchdown, to be honest with you guys. Uh, they just kind of gave him a fortune animation right there. But just trust me, when you see that, just know. And also, that's why I like putting them in the soft spot, because if they put them on the street, then normally you will be good. But like I said, there's always a counter to everything. So just be careful, be mindful. But that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this video. I wanted to kind of give you guys a quick little universal setup versus trips, because trips are starting to become more and more and more popular as I've been noticing. So 
here you guys go but anyways that's where i put it for this video i hope you have a blessed day i'm rage real and i'm out